Okay, so I want to talk to you today about one of the dreadful disorders of old age. And in fact, I'm seeing this as a disorder even coming at a middle age. So I'm talking to you today about the Alzheimer's and dementia. And this is a very, very dreadful disorder because when it comes up, it can be one of the most difficult things to manage. Typically, clinically, Alzheimer's is known to have occurred after the age of 70 and more after the age of 85, 90. But in clinical world today, I'm seeing cases at the age of 55, 60, 65 developing this. Disease patterns is changing. We have to change as well. So it's a type of dementia where actually you start forgetting things a lot. Your memory kind of goes for a toss. Not just the memory, but the way you think starts getting affected because of your memories and your past memories especially. Even your behavior gets affected. Generally, it, it develops a little slowly, but it can get worse with time. Although Alzheimer's is the commonest form of dementia, generally I would like to talk about memory loss. Because it can affect a lot of your cognitive abilities and your life totally. There are many remedies for homeopathy for this but I want to tell you along with homeopathy there's a certain form of diet that I suggest and if you do it together there is a good chance initially we can stop the progress of the disease and then slowly we can try to reverse although it's quite difficult so before you write to me you have to find a good homeopath in your area whom you can ask to do the case because a proper case taking is important to find a homeopathic remedy or else you can write to me so there are many remedies for Alzheimer's which I have used but I want to start off by talking about one of the remedies which I have not spoken about the remedy let me show you if I get it is the remedy Aurum Iode this is a remedy I use most often Aurum Iode let's see maybe I'll read it from an interesting book Aurum Iode let's see let me increase the size for you. Aurum Iod. Okay. What about Aurum Iod? I want to tell you. So, especially Alzheimer's, when patients come who require Aurum Iod, especially where the state of mind is affected after allopathic treatment taken for heart disease. And typically, they start developing some mental disorders. And what I've seen is they remain kind of sometimes very very happy very happy cheerful and at times they can be depressed so there is an alternating state between depression and cheerfulness this is often an indication for aurum iod i use this so very well and i want you to use it then think about it aurum iod i use it a lot then we talk about an interesting remedy plumbum plumbum is also a very important remedy for this kind of state of Alzheimer's especially the main fear they have and they develop a fear fear as if something will happen fear of being assassinated or killed is typically what I've seen another remedy that I want to talk to you about is Barita Aceticum and typically along with the Alzheimer's they can also develop a kind of paralysis that goes from down to up in fact they often say that there's something on the face cobweb sensation but one of the sheet anchors in this is zincum foss fantastic remedy in fact not just zincum foss zincum picrata also they will have a history of lot of anxiety and panic and restlessness typically zincum foss there's a brain fog at times ambra grisia it's a top remedy but very underused Burnett would use this remedy a lot in lower potency for hysterical old age women. It's a top remedy for old age memory loss, Ambra Grisia. They can be quite hysterical, sometimes talkative, sometimes quite shy, sometimes melancholic, Ambra Grisia. Okay, now let me talk about some more remedies. The remedy, Ginkgo Biloba. It's a Chinese remedy and it has all the acids in it. Especially they can't remember anything and they constantly feel oh I'm forgetting something I'm forgetting something it has a tendency to bring back brain pathological circulation ginkgo biloba 
Next remedy, Brahmi, our typical Brahmi or Bakopa. It's also Indian remedy. It has a tendency where they can build up the memory very nicely. It's a remedy I want you to think about. But typically in old age with learning new abilities affected, with hoarseness, think about Bakopa. But it has to be given in a lower potency. It's, it's typically in Bengal used as a brain tonic. Bakopa. I like these names, isn't it? No new. Okay, now let me talk about a remedy that um, is there in our old Indian culture. But homeopathy, we are using it now. I learned this from my guru, Dr. Sarkar. Ashwagandha, Vithnia Somnifera, top remedy. Dr. B. Ganguly from Kolkata would use this remedy a lot for a lot of confusion and headache. But there's some sexual self-abuse disorder along with Alzheimer's in Vithnia Somnifera. Finally, the last remedy, Apomorphinum. But in Apomorphinum, which is from opium family, there's a lot of nausea and vomiting along with Alzheimer's. So I even used it in brain tumors, apomorphinum. So these are some thoughts I want to share with you. Alzheimer's is not totally reversible all the time. There is one off, God is great. But with a proper case taking, with a detailed um, analysis, we can do it. But more than anything, this um, not just old age people, but most people what they need is love. And sometimes love is the remedy more often than not. People don't get love and that is often the reason why they develop the diseases. Interesting. So,